Hi there again. Now in this video we're going to be looking at how to log out. So currently we've uh, given ourselves the functionality to be able to log into our admin section and um, to give you an idea just from the, uh, the working example if I go ahead and log in um, I can navigate around my site, return to the admin section and I'm still logged in but we also have the ability to log out. So uh, the way we're going to be doing this, if you have a look in the URL there, is we're actually going to be using the get array um, and we're going to send um, some information, uh, just set something called action and the action will be log out. And our admin page is just going to be looking for that. If it's set, then it will end our admin se session. So uh, to make that all work, back into our code, uh, the first thing we need to do is actually create a a link. So here I am on our control panel page, I call it cPanel, and um, I'll just put in my logout link. So that's going to be in the uh, end of the paragraph. And remembering that this needs to go to the index page because that's our shell page. Um, and in the get array we have um, the page is equal to admin because it's returning back to the admin page. Uh, but we're also going to set and an action which we're going to call log out. So it's a big long looking link there. And then the uh, text that the uh, the link will be it can be anything. So I'm just going to put log out. And then obviously for, don't forget to close off both of those HTML tags. So just to quickly explain what's happening here, this is going to reload our index page. Uh, this little part here that's been sent in the get array is the bit that will tell uh, our index page which little sub page to load inside its main content which is the admin page and this action is going to be sent through to the admin page and we'll now write some code on that page that will go looking for it. Okay, so we'll just save that. Um, so just returning to the admin page now. Um, what we're going to do is put a little bit of code just here after the session start part. So I'll just clear a couple of lines and Put a comment in, check to see if user is logging out. Oh, oops. Right. Um, oops, where am I going? Yeah. So what we're looking for is we're just checking to see if something is set. And the thing that we're checking is the thing called action. So if that is set, we need to do something. And what we're going to do then is check and see what that action might be. Now I'm not just going to by default say off it's set log out because there may be other actions I want to introduce later on. So um, I'll just in include another if statement here. So we're just going to say if that action then is actually equal to something. So where am I? Equals oops, log out. Then we'll we're going to unset our session. So the uh, PHP command is nice and easy, it's unset. And then the session that we're unsetting is uh, starts with that. Remember that's got the uh, dollar sign underscore because this is like a, a native variable or array. Uh, it's native to PHP. And it was the one that we set up earlier on called admin. So that'll be unset. And what that will do if that session is now unset is down here when it's deciding what the page is deciding what to load, the control panel or the login form, if you unset the session up here, down the bottom, it will say, oh, it's no longer set. So we need to now include the login page itself. So I'll just save that and um, test it. So here we are, go to my admin page. If I log in, there's my logout and it reloads the admin page but you can see now the session is no longer set so if I click on admin I can't get through to that um, control panel. There I am, I can log in, I can navigate around the site, return to the admin page, I'm still logged in, there's my control panel but I can log out. And again up in the URL just to can sort of say that one last time we're sending that little bit of information through in our get array and there it is, the action equals logout. So that's a very quick uh, way to do a logout script. 
So uh, that now gives us the ability to log in and log out of our admin section. And uh, from here, we're now going to be looking at how we would then password protect subsequent admin pages. Uh, so when we start to um, add items to our to our database, and then we'll start to build some of the functionality into our control panel. So anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.